Hello everybody, my name is Tando Bodo and I am a South African based author whose primary focus is literary fiction. My upcoming book is a collection of 13 short stories that are all set in South Africa. As much as these stories are different, when I was writing them, I was asking myself the question, what would happen if one would take a U-turn on the freeway? Therefore, these stories provide an imaginative answer to that question. The reason I saw the need to pen down these stories is because I wanted to show how a daily life of a South African is like by exploring themes such as gender-based violence, xenophobia, teenage pregnancy, suicide, parenthood, and corruption. These challenges are still ongoing. I mean, I wrote these stories in November of 2020. 17 and i finished them in may of 2018 as much as i write about the problems of this of this country i don't shy away from showing the beauty of it allow me please to read just an extract from the story titled the u10 on the freeway I was 11 years of age when I decided to accept that I was different. Growing up in Guapeni as a boy, there were certain things I had to conform to in order to be a boy according to society. It was as though there was someone who watched my life, then compared my actions and personality to that on the long list of boys. If I didn't tick all the boxes, then I was not boy enough. I did not have any cows as we did not, as we did not have any livestock. I did not play with other boys who lived in my street. I never saw the need to. I owned all the toys I wanted, yet when I wanted to know what made it move a certain way, I took a beating. I did not play soccer. I did not understand it. I did not even watch it playing on a television set as I did not grow up in a household where children were allowed to watch TV. I didn't even read the sports section in a newspaper because whenever I would pick up a copy, I'd be told to act my age and go play with the other children as if I was not the only child at home. Whenever I neared the gate, I would be interrogated about my whereabouts. I had to report my every move even when I was going to pee next to the crowd. I was forced to pay detail to anything I set my eyes on because I didn't know when I would be questioned about what I saw and where it was. And if I said something that wasn't it, I would be punished. I was not allowed to visit my cousins for they were older than I was and they were going to teach me cross and naughty things because that's what you believed they did all day long. So there you have it. As I've said, it's just an extract. If you want to read more, if you want to know what happens, you can buy the book when it is available in uh, mid-December, just next month. You can find it in Amazon, on Amazon. You can find it on Amazon, rather, on Amazon and on the publisher's website by searching www.peneatpublications.com. Please do buy the copy or copies if you can and also gift your friends, your loved ones. I am sure they will appreciate it and it will mean a lot to me. They will enjoy it. You will also enjoy these stories, uh, I know, because I've been told by my better readers that they are enjoyable. And I was also enjoying them when I was writing them because that's what I believed as a reader, that if I enjoy a story, also the writer then did enjoy it when he was writing it. So please do purchase the copy, do purchase the copy or copies if you can. It will really mean a lot to me. And please, if you can, do provide a, an honest review. You don't have to stick to what your English teacher taught you regarding how to write a review, you can just provide your honest opinion.
that's all thank you for watching and i thank you in advance for buying the copies thank you Thank you.